And here's the first ball. That's a nice ball there by Coley to start off. It hits straight to the fielder at cover. This one's popped up in the air. Is there a catching opportunity here? It's uh, just cleared the fielders of points. They're going to trickle away for four. This one's uh, it's gone up in the air, and it's going to take a few bounces before going into the tent. That was a big hit. It's gone out in the deep. There's a fielder underneath, and it's a very well-taken catch. And again, the pressure was starting to build. Malta going along at just under seven and over. Hatapatu kind of leaves that one in the slot. It was there to hit, but he wasn't quite able to time it, Mughal, to see how uh, slow he was. This one is uh, struck down the ground. Is this going to go for four? Looks like it split the fielders, and uh, that's Takara back to his old ways. Yeah, this one's uh, beautifully played over extra cover. That's going to go for four. And oh, that one's a tempted slower Yorker. It's going to take one bounce before uh, heading to the scorer's tent. And it's actually the first time we've had a ball come towards our commentary cabin. Oh, another opportunity. Shouts of catch it. It's going to go beyond the fielder, a third man. This one is struck hard. It's struck firmly. Has it split the fielders? It looks like it has, and it's gone the distance for four. There's umpire David French with uh, one of the better-looking uh, boundary symbols. Often just, uh, they just found that edge over his, oh, this is a brilliantly taken catch. And a huge moment there for Luca Petre. And this is not an easy catch. Let's just take another look at this one. He has to take this catch in these shiny blue skies. And oh, that is really, really well taken. Big moment for that young man. And this one again, they've gone up in an appeal. They're absolutely certain. And this time the finger has been raised. Third time's a charm for Romania. And this time, Umpire Elliott judges it out. Might have brushed some glove along the way. And that's going to be the end for Takur. This one is uh, struck away. And again, you talk about courage. This man was just hit at the back of the head. And he gets a big round of applause from everyone. He hits a six the very next ball. This one is it just strays onto the pads. And he's hit it away for four. And every run that Amir scores will be cheered. Oh, and he's been cleaned up the very next ball. So nonetheless, it is a great cameo by Amir. Cricket can be a cruel sport. And again, you can see no real celebrations there from Romania. Just uh, paying him the respect he deserves. Oh, this one is struck hard. Forget about the fielder there. That's going to go all the way. It's another Maximo for Malta. Great hit over there. The batsman just rocking back and slapping it behind square leg. Great cross batted stroke. Goes fuller. What's the result of this going to be? I think it's gone the distance as well. It certainly has. This is another Maximo. Back to back, big blows. And we were talking about some players in this uh, multi side getting an opportunity to stand up. Goes for a big shot. This one's also going to go all the way. Forget about that. He sent it to his own team's dugout. Oh, it's taking an edge. And don't worry about that one. That is a very thick edge that anyone could see. And this time around, umpire French raises his finger, gives that out. And yeah, big deviation over there. No problem with that. Singh going for the big shot again. Maybe not the right shot selection as Malta have lost half their side for 98. Goes for the big shot of Freedy. This one's up in the air. It's a catching opportunity. And it will be taken. So Vashisht, after getting pumped for a six, gets a couple of wickets. Malta going bang, bang. And all they're doing is getting out. Romania have managed to get a couple of wickets. Back-to-back -back wickets. They go bang, bang. Oh, this one is uh, out an outside edge. And Stanislaus departs. And Hussein has the last slap against Stanislaus. He says, well, you clubbed me for a couple of sixes last time around. But this time, I'll get you dismissed. Going on right now with Malta, 107 for 7. Oh, and this one could be really close. It's given LBW. Oh, that is a great ball first up. Full and straight. Swipes across at it, and it's caught in plumb. 
That's about as plumb as you get. And Matthew, oh, what a disappointment for him. He has to go out for a golden duck. And this one is uh, struck away, and it's gone straight to a fielder, actually. So it's a good catch. And just for a second, that uh, ball was out of my view, and it's uh, Shantanu Vashisht. Well, we know what an outstanding fielder he is, and that's he's taking an absolutely terrific catch. Blocked away. Oh, is it half a chance for a run out? And this is going to definitely be a run out. And we know Malta are eager with their runnings, but that is an absolutely terrible mishap. The last wicket this Malti side have, and they decide to take on a suicidal run. Abbas wasn't even paying attention through the striker, and they get bowled out with four overs to spare. Think about all the runs they've left on the board here. Malta will be very disappointed with themselves. I think this is the first poor showing we've uh, seen from Malta so far this Continental Cup where they've been so dominant. Impact fun day here in Romania. That's a, a full toss, slightly tentative shot, chance for a run out. If there's a direct hit, there is a direct hit. What does the umpire judge? Oh, he's judged it, not out. This one is struck away. Is it going to beat the fielder? It's going to sail over his head. Yeah, man out of that deep boundary. He's not the uh, tallest fielder in the world, but I think you'd need Kurtley Ambrose uh, on top of Kurtley Ambrose's shoulders. stage where they just have to go for the jugular and try to get wickets and of course that's a really well hit shot by the uh, Romanian skipper Satishan that goes away for four. Oh, this one's uh, gone over all the fielders and goes all the way that's the second Maximo of this innings. Huge hit as uh, Satishan joins in on the six hitting party. The fine leg all inside the ring huge gap towards mid wicket. And you can see why he's targeting now. This one's up in the air. Is this a catching opportunity? No, it isn't. It's going to take one bounce and go over the boundary rope. Oh, this one's just straying down the leg side. You can't afford to bowl there. It's uh, going towards the scorer's tent at fine leg. Oh, that one's taking an edge. That one's a fairly thick edge, and that's the wicket they really needed there. Malta. He's certainly going to celebrate that, Afridi. You would say, though, this opening partnership has done the damage going at 16 and a half and over. Oh, good ball. He slashes at this. It's going to go over the fielder at points head and it's going to go for four. And this one's gone up in the air. This is a catching chance. Should be taken. It is taken. And he stays calm there, Samuel Stanislaus. Very good catch. Romania lose a couple of wickets. Uh, Nadi Gotla just uh, pops one up in the air, and this is a very comfortably taken. Now oh, this one is struck away, and it's going to take one bounce and go over the boundary rope for four. But again, that's the sort of risk and reward. Just play some orthodox cricketing strokes. Oh, this time it takes an inside edge. He chops it onto his stumps, and this is a massive mix-up. Absolutely comical mix-up. What are Romania doing? Are they trying to find a way to lose this game? And Sani just charged to the other end. Kumar wasn't even looking. I mean, first of all, you don't even need to take these sort of risks chasing a target of 116. But are we going to witness something absolutely stunning here in the uh, evening in Bucharest? Straight down the ground. And this one's going to go for four. Or is it? Is it going to be cut off? No, it's not. It goes for a boundary. Oh, this one struck hard. It struck firmly, and it goes all the way. That is deposited onto the mound. And what a sucker punch here. Huge shot by Vasusani. Oh, this is a lowish full toss. Shouts of catch it. And I think that's going to go away to the boundary. Just going to trickle over the boundary rope. No one's going to be able to cut that off. Oh, I can't really bowl that line. It's just a bit too straight. 
There's uh, no real protection out there as that's going to trickle away for four. This one is slashed very nicely. Oh, here's a half chance. There was a half chance that was always going to be difficult to take. It was struck hard. It was flying straight at the fielder. And it's a good diving effort in reality. He's probably prevented a four. He's done well in all honesty. Oh, there's a Nick. Don't worry about that. That's definitely out. And we don't see a Freedy's a trademark celebration this time around. I think he's a, understands the gravity of the situation, Malta find themselves in. And that's the end of Perry Loire's innings. This one is just a played away behind square leg and it's gonna go for four again. And that is a really good looking shot. It's gonna take one bounce before the boundary rope and go away for four. Oh, he's been shattered. The stumps have been shattered. He was looking to try to smash this away and finish this game in style, but he's been beaten for pace, and that's what a boss gives you. If you can just aim it at the stumps, you're probably going to get a lot of you miss, I hit moments as a boss gets his first wicket of this innings. Shouts of catch it, but I don't really think that was anywhere near a catch. Is that going to go away? It's going to trickle over the boundary rope. This one's gone up in the air. This is a catching opportunity. Oh, he's taking an absolute blinder of a catch. That's a brilliant one-handed grab. Oh, that's Eldo's Matthew out there. Terrific stuff. Take a look at this again. Oh, he just plucks it out of thin air one-handed. Uh, Malta getting a wicket in the dying moments of this game. Oh, there was another chance. Oh, there was an edge that could have been taken by the wicket keeper and Amir. We know some of his bad luck with drop chances throughout this tournament. Oh, that was a genuine edge. Oh, maybe we need a silly point. Put a silly point in. Oh, there's an edge. That's a nick. Another wicket has fallen. Are Malta going to pull off the impossible and somehow win this game? We are still live on air as Romania struggle to find that one shot they need to win this game. Just had a look at my phone over here. So one run is needed to win. And Romania will scamper across and secure this win or not. It looks like they have, yes. So uh, this game has finally been won by Romania. And they made a bit of a meal out of it at the end, taking about... Uh, 3.1 overs to score just seven runs. But in the end, all's well that ends well from a Romanian point of view. They've managed to secure the victory.